Hello everyone. It's me this week. Lydia's having a rest. Most of you know me from Risley Jam Club and at times at Stanton Sunday School too. This is the first time I've done anything like this so I hope that it goes well. I have a friend with me this morning. This is Barnaby. Now when I was a teacher at Risley School Barnaby used to go on holiday or on trips with the children. They took photographs of him and they wrote in scrapbooks about his adventures. He once fell in the Ganges, the river Ganges, but he was rescued and had a good wash. Barnaby is going to help me today. Have you ever played that game Spot the Difference? You find it sometimes in, in comics or in magazines. Well, I want you to look very closely at Barnaby. It's a bit hot for him today. Look, he's got his duffel coat on. Look carefully. His toggles are fastened. I'm going to just move Barnaby for a moment and see if you can see the difference. Oh my goodness, can you see Barnaby has his hood up? Did you notice? Something different this time. Watch carefully. Oh, where's he gone? He's taking a bit of time to come back, isn't he? Let's hope he comes very soon. I've got to see what he's doing. Oh, here he is. <gasps> what now? Have a look. What's the difference? Yes, his coat is open this time. I think he's had too much of the heat. Well, today we are going to think about how Jesus can make a difference to our lives. It's not like Barnaby. It's not a difference that we can see like a game we played. It's a difference in our hearts. Jesus can bring us new life. Now I'm going to read you a story from Look. This is my new Bible. I think many of you have had this too. And I'm going to read from the book Matthew. Matthew chapter 19 verses 9, 18, sorry, 18 to 26. While Jesus was saying this, a synagogue leader came. He got down on his knees in front of Jesus and he said, my daughter has just died, but come and place your hand on her, then she will live again. Jesus got up and went with him, and so did his disciples. Just when a woman came up behind Jesus, now she had a sickness that had made her bleed. It had lasted for 12 years. She touched the edge of Jesus' clothes. She thought, I only need to touch his clothes and then I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Dear woman, don't give up hope, he said. Your faith has healed you. The woman was healed at that moment. Those words are very important. I'm going to read them again. He said, your faith has healed you. When Jesus entered the synagogue leader's house, he saw the noisy crowd and people playing flutes. <gasps> he said, go away. The girl is not dead. She is sleeping. But they laughed at him. After the crowd had been sent outside, Jesus went in and he took the girl by the hand and she got up. News about what Jesus had done spread all over the area. My goodness, two very, 
very important stories which tell us about Jesus. We heard about two people who desperately needed Jesus. No one else could help them. These two people were totally changed by Jesus. Jesus made a difference to their lives. The first was a woman who had been ill for 12 years. No one had helped her. No one could help her. But the woman had faith in Jesus and she knew that Jesus was the only one to give her life back. The little girl had an even worse problem. She was so ill that she died. But Jesus came to help her. Jesus took the little girl's hand and raised her to life again. I wonder if in any way Jesus had managed to change your life. Knowing Jesus can make a big difference to our lives. And we're going to now say a prayer. Put your hands together, close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus, that you came to give us new life. Thank you that you change us to have new life now and forever with you. Amen. Now, I've been busy this morning. I've been looking out for some craft work. Now, the first one that I'm going to send you is this. This is the synagogue leader's little girl. And she was so ill that she died. Now, I cut mine out. Look. And I coloured her in. I cut it out carefully, but when it comes to these two holes here, I want you to be very careful. I think you really need to ask a grown-up to do these. And it may be that your fingers are a little small, and so you won't need such big holes. But I'm going to put my fingers through now, which look like legs. And you can act out the story of the synagogue leader's daughter who was so ill that died and when Jesus touched her she was able to get up and run about and play. So I will send you these so you can have a go and act out the story. There are going to be two of these on your sheet like this so that if you make a mistake or you want to do two of them that's fine. I'm also going to send you two colouring sheets. Now this one is of the lady who was so ill for 12 years. She's touching Jesus' clothes look. You can colour it in and you could even put more people in the background if you like. I now have another colouring sheet. This is the synagogue's leader's little girl and Jesus is touching her hand. Remember Jesus sent everybody out of the room. There was too much noise. But you could put the inside of the house here. You could add perhaps a window. And finally, I have been making happy faces and I've been making sad faces. Now, Jesus made a difference to the woman who had been ill for 12 years. And I expect she was probably feeling a bit like this, a bit sad. When she managed to touch Jesus, look, look how happy she has become. I expect the parents of the little girl who was so ill that she died were so sad and so worried. But look, when they saw her running around and she had been made well again, I expect they showed this kind of face. So you could use a paper plate like I have or you can get a piece of card and I'm just stuck on a lolly stick look so that I can swing it round quickly and some sellotape but a piece of 
strong card would probably do the job. I can't wait to see what you make. I hope you have a very good week and I'll probably see you soon again. Bye for now. Bye.